Hello and welcome to another Sprues and Brews unboxing. Today we are looking at all the new corn releases for Blood Bowl. So first of all, massive thanks to Games Workshop for sending us pretty much all of the corn Blood Bowl stuff this week. It's uh, looking really awesome. And yeah, we um, we mentioned on the podcast a couple of weeks ago that it's been a little while since we've had a brand new Blood Bowl team. Obviously we had a lot of excitement at the end of last year when a new edition came out. We had the Undead team coming out and we had the Snotlings. But until then, we haven't really had any new plastic sets. Until now, with all the awesome corn stuff. So what we're going to do is have a look at the sprues for the corn team, have a look at all the accessories, and we'll have a look through Spike Magazine and see what's in there. So first of all, let's open up the corn Blood Bowl team, the School Tribe Slaughterers, and have a look at the frames. So yeah, let's have a quick nosy at the back of the box first. And I've got to say they look really cool. You've got some of the Age of Sigma corn aesthetic coming through. Um, you know, there's echoes of, of Blood Reavers and Blood Warriors on there. And I think that works really, really well for Blood Bowl. Uh, I imagine this is going to be a team that doesn't worry too much about scoring goals and more so about punching people in the face. So, uh, yeah, this should be a fun one. So let's open it up and have a look at the frames. So, let's see what we get. So first of all, as ever, we get bases with little holes for you to stick your ball in. We do get a transfer sheet, and generally these will have all of your positionals on there. So um, yeah, really good to put on the back of your bases to indicate what unit's which. So that's pretty nice. Let's have a look at the frame. So with Blood Bowl kits, generally speaking, you get two identical frames. Sometimes some of the parts have multiple heads or arms and stuff just to add a bit of variety to them. So let's have a look at the sprue and see what they look like. So yeah, already really nice. We mentioned they've got very much the kind of Age of Sigma kind of Bloodborne aesthetic for it. Have a nosy at those components. As you would expect, lots of marks of corn, lots of spikes. I really like the, uh, the turn tracker corn symbol there yeah they're really really cool uh, again I imagine you could probably use a lot of these for uh, conversions for Age of Sigma armies as well I know a lot of people who have used the Lizardman team because those sculpts are really really nice so yeah I'm really looking forward to painting these guys up they should be a bit of fun so yeah you get two identical frames of that and I believe it builds 16 uh, buh, 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 buh. You get two linesmen, two corn gore. Uh, in fact, you get six linemen, two corn gore, two blood seekers, four blood seekers of two different sculpts. Okay, and I believe there is an expansion pack as for, available from Forge World as well that adds uh, a few more different variations for the sculpts. So that's the plastics. We'll have a quick look at the instructions. Again, I can't imagine these being terribly difficult to build let's just pop this over here so like I say normally you get a few little variation parts it seems that we've got a few different heads maybe just to mix them up a little bit but other than that this should be fairly straightforward they'll go together pretty quickly yeah they're pretty nice and then on the back we normally get all the team details as well so obviously we'll see this in a uh, spike magazine on the cards but you do get all the team rules on there. So strictly speaking, you don't have to buy Spike in order to be able to use this team. You can just use it out of the uh, the box. And it does have the blood spawn, the uh, the kind of one choice position that you can get from Forge World at the minute as well. So yeah, really cool. There's a distinct lack of block on them and lots of frenzy. So they're going to be aggressive, um, but an, a, a kind of a wily player will probably be able to pull you out of position and... You are going to have to try and get a block on things with your upgrades. Um, but yeah, they look pretty cool. We've also been sent some of the accessories as well, so we'll have a quick run through these and uh, see what we get. So first of all, some really nice looking corn dice. If we pop those up with a symbol of corn on the six. That is really cool. And then standard Blood Bowl dice for the rest of them. Yeah, in a really nice kind of corn red colour. So, yeah, really nice set of dice. I do like that they do these uh, exclusive dice for each team. So, yeah, nice one to add to the collection. 
and we also got sent the corn pitch as well so there are a lot of schools on this pitch if you've not seen these before essentially you get the pitch which is normally double sided you get your dugouts and then generally speaking each of these pitches has got some special rules now they tend to put the rules for these in Spike magazine as well but you have got them on the back of this uh, pitch so again if you haven't got Spike that doesn't matter you'll just be able to use the special rules for this uh, pitch straight out of the pack so let's have a look at the uh, the artwork on this one so first of all we get the two um, dugouts it's the same one just double sided you've got two variations for your two different sides uh, one of them obviously very school based another one very blood based uh, absolutely fits the corn theme and I quite like the idea of in a league everyone having a home stadium that's kind of themed around them and then we get a glorious gore slicked corn pitch the other side of the pitch is obviously before uh, blood has been let quite as much and it's just scores, you know, just scores, no gore. So yeah, really cool looking pitch. Very different than the other ones that we've got. And uh, again, definitely fits with the corn vibe going on. Uh, my only criticism of this one, maybe, is it is a little hard to see the spaces. They do have little kind of crosses where the spaces are. But obviously with all the scores, it's a little bit hard to eyeball that um, off the bat. But no, really corn, obviously corn symbol on each side as well so uh, yeah if you're playing on this pitch many people will die a horrible brutal death and then finally in the pile of goodies we've got to show off is spike magazine issue 13 so if you've not played blood bowl before generally uh games which will put out kind of tongue-in-cheek fanzine style uh kind of mini supplement for each faction they're not super serious they're very uh in universe and jokey where uh, there's you know comic strips in there there's tips to play the the, the team uh, and just some fun kind of in universe blood bowl nonsense which is really cool so it's not uh you know a, a required purchase if you want to play the team like i say the rules for the team are in the box you do get the rules in there um but you're getting this for the lore and the kind of um the fun kind of tongue-in-cheek humor that it's got so let's have a look through and see what we have got in here. So first of all, obviously we've got pictures of the painted miniatures from the box. Uh, really looking forward to doing those. As well as a kind of, like I say, it's kind of acts like an in-universe magazine. So in the alternate Warhammer world where Blood Bowl takes place, I could picture being able to buy Spike magazine from local news agents. And that's kind of the vibe that they're going for. We get like interviews with star players and information about the teams and how they get on. Uh, historical teams throughout the history of Blood Bowl. You do get the uh, the team rules in there, as well as star players that they can have. But again, a lot of that information that you, you can get from the box. Information on famous corn teams and a bit of a write up on the School Tribe Slaughterers, which is the the named team that the box is named after. And then we also get uh, an example uh, historical team. And the gold value for that if you wanted to take that one so i know some people do play um you know a league using a higher gold threshold so you can go straight off the bat with all your awesome star players and, and tooled up guys so that is an option for that and again spotlight on more star players the great black ball grashnak black hoof yeah he looks like a beast yeah, so I, I quite like it. For the kind of fun, jokey, in-universe interviews and stuff, it is quite fun. I'd, I I don't think it's much. I think it's like £9. I think I'd recommend picking it up if you are if you are into that team. Uh, I know a lot of people just collect them because they're quite fun reads as well. Uh, certainly more palatable than a, you know, say if there was £20 codexes or something for each team, this is a better format for it. And as ever... All the kind of like side artwork and stuff's really really fun as well. Yeah, I mentioned about the the corn pitch. We do get a corn um, league rules here, so a special kickoff table for the corn teams, special weather table. So essentially, if you want to corn up your game to Blood Bowl, you can have that. You also get the rules for the Ultra of Corn uh, pitch as well. So again, quite fun. Different variants of playing your game. Uh, you could go for an all corn league and. Uh, yeah, spill a lot of blood for the blood god. Uh, you also get rules for the corn balls as well. So obviously on the frame you get a couple of special balls 
and there's some special rules there to represent them. Again, you don't have to use this stuff. I think it is quite fun in a league if everybody has a home stadium and you kind of use your themed stuff for when people are playing in yours. Uh, we then get a bit of a write-up about how to play um, corn teams in Blood Bowl. So it goes through all the different positionals, what they do, what their you know strategy is to use them, what their advantages are, the downsides. And it also gives you an example, a million gold roster as well. So if you're not sure you know, what team to take first, here's a nice uh, example. And I believe with this team as well, you can build it straight out of that plastic box as well. So you don't have to get any additional players, which is a really nice in. Uh, to the point where it says that the blood spawn, the uh, I think it's about 27 quid from Forge World, the the special kind of positional player that you can get. You're probably going to want to take it a couple of games in once you've built up some gold. Uh, it's not something that you necessarily need off the bat, so that means that corn box is really great to just pick up and start playing Blood Bowl immediately, which is really fun. We then get some example setups for both defence and offence, where you need to put your guys a bit of a write about what they should be doing and I think that's really nice it gives you an idea of how you should be playing your game and you know where you need to deploy your guys obviously after you've played Blood Bowl a little bit you will pick that up but it's nice to have a bit of guidance with a brand new team to know what to do with them especially if you're brand new to the game as well it just gives you some pointers and uh, advice on how to use the team so I think that's pretty nice and again, we go through more of the star players, and we end up with a uh, comic strip as well, which is in the end of all these Spike magazines as well. So, yeah, nice little magazine. I uh, I do think they're quite fun. Uh, they generally release a new one when a new team comes out because it'll be themed around that team with all their star players and stuff. And then finally, there are a pack of team cards as well. So these can be used to uh, act as quick reference guides during your games. So you get some details on how to use the cards. And then you get a card for each positional with their stats on them. But what you also get are blank ones that you can use for your team during a league as well. So you can put on there any adjustments to stats, you can name them, you can put the additional skills and stuff that you've got. So they're really handy to use as kind of reference during your games. Uh, obviously you can just list them on a roster but it's quite nice to be able to put these kind of next to the pitch and know the stats of all you guys at a quick glance so really like them you get a whole load of them you get cards for each of the star players that you can take as well uh, acorn so it looks like it's just the corn specific ones plus acorn acorn the squirrel if you buy the tree man you do get a spare acorn you can put on a base as well if you want a particularly bloodthirsty corn worshipping squirrel because why wouldn't you and then we get some um, event cards, heroic feats, all that kind of stuff that build up on the ones that are in the core box as well. So, again, stuff themed around the corn team you get in there. So, that's pretty fun. So, that was a quick look at all the new Blood Bowl releases for the School Tribe of Slaughterers, the corn Blood Bowl team. Uh, these are available for pre order now, uh, they come out next Saturday. So if you want the pitch slick with the blood of your enemies as you uh, collect scores for the school god while well, maybe occasionally thinking about scoring a goal, these may be the team for you. So yeah, I hope you liked that video. We've got a load more unboxing and reviews up on the website at the minute. It's been a bit of a busy couple of days for reviews with, uh, I think, Games Workshop pumping out all the kind of releases ready for Christmas this week. So yeah, stay tuned to the site. We've also got a podcast uh, that goes up weekly. Go to spruceandbrews.com for all our written articles. We'll have a companion piece on this as well with pictures of the frames and the cards and the, the team stat line and stuff like that if you do want uh, to have that. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you soon. Hope you've enjoyed the video.